Uh, so, I, I'm a little still, I'm still a little reeling over, um, the last mission we did, which was <laughs> Wake Up, Time to Die, which is a Blade Runner reference. Um, Maz Hager Z, Pseudo Evolved Ava. God, shit got crazy so fast. Um, off screen, well, I say off screen, um, basically between streams, I ran the sub orders, I gave some more characters ace pilot, and, uh, oh, proud ace, and, uh, they've achieved ace pilot status. That's how we're gonna be starting today. Or at least I think, unless nine can't do it because, uh, currently, yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured we were going to be having um, ace conversations. Well, let's see where we go next. Come the messenger. Secret scenario. Okay, so Shinji's in the Nerve Medical Ward. Well, okay, Shinji's already in a better spot because Ayaname is not dead and Asuka has both her eyes. You can't say that. You're not a Gurren pilot. Uh, cause yeah. So what was supposed to happen with Shinji reaching pseudo evolved was it was supposed to cause a near third impact. Um, but because of embryo, exev, and everything that was going on towards the end there, it's. It has changed. It's not that it was changed, it was the energy was redirected. So instead of purifying the lands like Gendo Akari wanted, they fused, I'm assuming, AD and UC. Embryo used Gendo's plan for his plan. Which you know what? As much as I hate Embryo, I, I hate Embryo with every fiber of my being. Fuck Gendo Akari. <laughs> I don't know who I hate more. Oh, we're actually going to get to see the Geo front. The fuck? The uh Standard contained with a 10 kilometer circle here on Geofront. Oh! Oh, that's. that's clever! Like, seriously, Aura came in clutch there. <laughs> we were fucked! <laughs> and then another. Hey, it's our other pseudo god. It's only a temporary solution. We don't have a permanent one, I think.
No! Oh God! Please no! Not Jupiter. I I think I know why they're bringing up Jupiter, and I hope to God I'm wrong. I don't need that on top of everything else. Yeah, no one's gonna survive this. A AD is gonna be fucked. UC is gonna be fucked. We don't know if it's gonna kill everyone, but it's definitely gonna reformat the world. Yeah, how the fuck did he survive? His mech blew up. Yeah. Even even Frontal, like, as much as he is Char's... Okay, I didn't talk about this. Uh, full Frontal is a vessel for Char, but the issue is the Char he got was the basically the equivalent of the Char during the counterattack. So, the pessimistic done with Basically, the the man, the broken man, that was Char Asimov piloting the zo zombie. Before I believe it was like the one before the Axis Shock, because uh, Char is a complex character. T talk about Char would be a whole a whole video. Yeah, no, Andrew brings up a good point though. We blew, Embryo blew up. We killed him. He died right in front of us. Yeah, no, a lot of the motivation embryo I could kind of see motivation for because from my understanding this is kind of just what he does in cross Ange. He does try to destroy the world. Yeah. Leonard is just going completely insane. Um Exiv I don't know enough about him to give you an answer. Yeah, Embryo's been saying he's wanted to make a new world. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's probably not in a good spot. And, yeah, no, that's the thing. This whole situation we're currently in is these two being basically turned into pseudo-gods cause this problem. It's... Shinji... Oh, how to say this? I don't know enough about Koji leading up to the Mazinger Zero incident to give you an answer, but at least to the way Shinji's mindset is... From at least the original 2.0. Shinji wasn't trying to do anything wrong he was doing the right thing the issue is his deter his determination to do the right thing caused a big ass problem Exactly. Yeah, I actually finished X, and that ending is batshit insane. I am sorry. Go to where? But that I mean that was the plan, but what? <laughs> I have cr
questions? Yeah, she, yeah, like, what the fuck? And we don't really have another choice. We need to go to Iskandar. We don't know. We don't have much time. True, it takes us a little bit to get the Ava set up because they're so much bigger than most of the other machines. Yeah. Uh, and here's a question. How's Zeta 1 doing after turning into a god? Uh, we're in unknown territory. All the angels are dead. Uh, number 10 was the last one to show up before 3.0. It's got, it's blood type blue, meaning it's an angel. All hit. Oh, not him. At least you need zero and two. Ah, there she is in her. Oh, God. here's the bad shit girl. This is Unit Eight. Unit 1's pilot is the puppy, and Unit 2's is the princess. Now, um, if you're, uh, no, uh, Code the Beast, the forced, uh, berserk mode has a five minute time limit. You can't really overstay it. I, I brought it up during the last stream, um, I don't know the reason I remember I did, because I checked the footage. Um... It ejects the charging plug. Well, I will say this, uh, she is actually the oldest of the- okay, uh, I don't know if they're gonna bring it up in this, cause the the whole they don't have the time skip. In Ava 3.0, I believe there's like a 13 year time skip, but Asuka and um, Mariah here look exactly the same. 
basically, from what I remember, Ava pilots don't age. So, she's old. Uh, if I remember correctly, she knew Shinji's mother. But I don't think Mirai's the one who Gendo was waiting on because, um, Gendo clearly said him. <laughs> that basically just amounted to a big game of, uh, of hot potato. Yeah, we gotta get in close. Yeah, I don't think anything here has... Anything here but the Avas and the Angel have the ability to pierce AT fields. And... Basically, as long as the Avas are hooked up, they're going to have that supply of energy. Let's see what you got. Not a bad spirit kit. But uh, here is unit eight. Oh, skip this. She tends to, even in the films, she tends to handle a more support role. So, like, she's usually in the back, like, guns, rifles, that kind of shit. If I had to describe the Ava pilots, at least the ones who made it 3.0, Shinji's all over the place. There's no way to really describe Shinji's style. Um, Asuka tends just to rush in. And Mirai is Sniper. Re wow, that, that one actually surprised me. I don't need to worry about the angel until it gets in close, so I'm I'm gonna thin out the herd a little bit just so we have some breathing room. Oh, she's got hit and run, nice. This is gonna amount. To oh no! Wait, we pierced. Ooh, I, 
I always forget she has this. This is the only Ava with a pistol. At least that we see, if I remember correctly. It's just like a Glock. It's a big ass Glock. Yeah, none of these things are really going to be able to damage any of these pilots. Oh, just random English. I mean, Grant, this is on nor- this is- I believe this is on the equivalent of normal difficulty because, uh, that's just how secret scenarios work. I will say, going into X and T, we will be on the hard mode, so different situations there. I'll go into that when we get to those games. There's no point in pissing off the angel if I don't have to. I love the inhuman movements of this thing. Like, it looks a bit goofy here, but, like, this thing was actually quite terrifying. She's got Valor? Shit! I will say, there is a pretty good chance Mirai might become one of my main snipers with Curves and Lock-On. Wait, what? That's not good! Oh, fuck. This is insane. Uh...
Sorrow. Here we go. Oh, we're actually talking about Lilith. Yeah, because Shinji didn't have his, uh, any of his little crises where he was trying to leave Nerve. Uh, Masato never showed him Lilith. Unit 13. Yeah, Unit 13 requires two pilots. Yep. Koro! Isn't okay, like many of the Ava characters, Koro's a character who's a whole ball of wax to dissect. Though it is. It is widely believed, and I could I could kind of agree with it, that Koro has feelings for Shinji. Shinji doesn't reciprocate those feelings because he's fucking Shinji Akari, but yeah, no, that's a thing. It's, he always appears so late in the story, it's not something that I can really explore. Just because of his role in the narrative of Evangelion. It is imp Yeah. Well, based on dialogue in... I forget it's 3.0 or 3.0 plus 1. Um, Kuro... Kuro acts very familiar with Shin Shinji right from the start. Like, and it's implied that he is aware of Shinji... Okay, uh, gotta go to some slight spoiler territory for 3.0 plus 1, um, okay, 3, 2, 1, um, it is implied Ava's a looped timeline, uh, basically, Shinji would reach the third impact, well, reach the ending, cause the third impact, and would actually start the Ava situation from the start, constantly looking for the happy ending. Uh, by 3.0 plus 1, he figures out really what he needs to do. But it's implied Kuro here remembers the past. Because, um, he wakes up on the moon, looks next to him, and there are three coffins. 
That is symbolically what Kuro is meant to represent. Or at least that's the idea. Um, but uh, when he wakes up in the end credit scene of 1.0, he looks next to him and I believe there were three empty coffins. And he looks to his right and there was a bunch of closed coffins. It, the theory is that the other coffins are from the last um, loops ending. So the other endings we've had for Neon Genesis Evangelion. Keep in mind that part's all just speculative um, based on the context excuse we were given. Oh god, if that's what I think it is. Let's see, what do we have for spirits? Okay, good, Shinji's got Excel. I, I gotta see this spear. This is what I think it fucking is. Yeah, you can even see a lot of uh, Karo's skills. Trust, faith, bonds, and wish. He is a very good support character. Holy shit. It's also the thing, um, I don't think they're gonna go into it in this, just because it, it does evolve the character's death, um. Kuro isn't human. Uh, because Unit 13, if I remember correctly, is a completely secret unit, so his story isn't heavily connected. Also point out, Unit 13 doesn't have a cord. Huh? It is what I think it is. Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> shit, that is horrifying. <laughs> it's so good. So, fun fact, um, these are the spears Calidus and Longidus, the spears of hope and despair. They're designed to kill gods. What the fuck? Okay, this machine- I can see why this machine's a secret machine! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, it's so weird. Because uh, as I've said, I've been playing um, SRX in my free time. It's weird because um, each of the three, because I believe it's called the VXT Trilogy. X adds a command. Oh, and the X actually that I've become very used to, so it's weird not seeing it. Yep. Yep. Kuro is in a unique position, in terms of Ava. <laughs> Asuka's got... Ah, yes. The Sood. The Sood.
Now that she's jealous, she doesn't want to admit she's happy Shinji's here. I know, I, I, it's one of the, um, special things I've got on mine. There we go. Boost Koji's focus to 150, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, okay, he has to have an active movement, okay. I gotta remember after this to give, um, Koji, um, a uh, fighter spirit so I could do that easier. I see you playing Star Allies! Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get another one shot like last time because I don't have Valor activate, active this go. But I can use Zeal, which... You know what? Fuck, I can show off Zeal. I want to see how this looks, stabbing a giant crystal with the, um, spears that... The spears of hope and despair. definitely wasn't yeah it's a, it has a dynamic finish so because he didn't go into like stabbing multiple times yeah i kind of figured he didn't get the kill let's see if she could actually pierce an at field the sniper rifle And she can. Okay, yeah, it actually has the name. Um, because yeah, this isn't the base form of that Ava. It her Ava is weird as shit. Especially towards the end of 3.0. I, I mean, uh, 4.0. I could not tell you what the fuck is going on with her Ava. Yep, it's Remiel. With its horrific scream when it fires. <sighs> Hopefully. There we go. And this time we didn't need a Positron Cannon. Okay, 
it's my turn, but before I finish it... Mazid Power! Yeah, we can just turn into Mazin Zero whenever we want. As long as Koji's um, morale is 150 or above. Or focus is 150 or above. Uh, so, yeah, one of the things I did, if I remember correctly, I did dump a lot into um, Koji because, yeah, Mazin Zero is really fucking good. From what I can tell... Yeah, from what I can tell, um... But there are two that have a focus transformation in this game. It's Shinji and Koji. Unit 13 is just a better machine for Shinji because of the fact... But well, one, the co-pilot, but even outside of that, it's the fact that, uh, Shinji's is also required on the synchro rate. And it makes getting pseudo-evolved Ava kinda hard. If we want to say that we need to cross dimensional boundaries again. Yeah. Well, now we're roping uh, new CC into it. I mean, new UC in. Well, the new crack century, which. How? Like. They, they weren't involved, and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, by the way, go to Iskandar, everyone. What? No, do not trust Kendo Ikari. Kendo Ikari is a bastard. Though, with Unit 13 here, I do believe this marks the end of the Ava storyline. Yeah, it's probably the best way we can fix this. Yeah. Yeah, the pseudo-evolution didn't cause the space-time fusion, it's just its energy was used. So we are taking unit 1 and 0, 1, and 2, and we're adding unit 8. And we're bringing unit 13 with us. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, this was actually the start of the second movie. This is how um it starts. It starts with Shinji and Gendo at his mother's grave.
<laughs> Look, sorry, excuse me. Wait. Why are none of my... I just... Why are none of them marked EV? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Yet, yeah, none of my units or even my battleships are marked EV. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sorry, allergies have been getting really bad. Doesn't help that it's raining today. Ugh. Okay, unit 13. Yeah, so Mazinga Zero does share the exact same stats as uh, Mazinga. Uh, as Mazinga Z, so you'll be good there. Uh, let's do these. Now we should have our ace conversations. Yep. Vivian has become an ace. I did that by just putting her into the sub order. She reached it. What is love? I can't say. I'm not going to torture you all with that. Everyone compliment the android. Huh. You know what? GD torture salamandry. That was actually a nice one. Who else? Oh, I forgot Andrew reached it. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, um, I forgot and reached Ace Pilot during the Mazinger Zero level. But that's also when Melda reached Ace Pilot. We've had a lot of Aces recently. Are we? Go is not gonna bully him about women too? 
Please don't bully Hathaway about women. Man's had a hard life. Ooh, nine, do you know? Truth about the Avas. Yeah, that that is a whole ball of wax. I don't know if she's ready for it yet. Okay, let's see what's going on here. S New Hope Gro Wait, special scenario? The fuck's a special scenario? All the others were secret. Okay. Science Fortress Lab hid it under the... Okay. Tetsuya, explain! I was about to say, if his mother built it, God, could you imagine what the rest of their family could do? Who are... I thought you were dead! I have questions... Oh, he's a cyborg.
Yeah, so, okay, look, this is a shot for Koji, but Tsubasa here, her dead husband and her dead brother came back to life. Members. Okay, so of course they would if they knew about the um, the dark gods or whatever the fuck, and they knew about Maz and Z, um, uh, about Zero, they would know some a situation like this could be possible, so they would be working on a solution. Get ready to continue on. It's so crazy. This all started as our journey to Iskandar. And now the only way to save everything is to go to Iskandar. Like it seems so long ago we set on that mission. Sweet. We've built up quite a goddamn army at this point of, like, just support behind us. Because we've got the Federation and Neo Zeon supporting us. We've got the Dragon supporting Aura. We've got the multiple Photonic Research Institutes. Oh, sorry, stretching. Um, the AD Dimension, so that means Nurgle, uh, whatever supplies Mithril has left after Amalgam fucked it hard. Um... A uh, celestial being. Uh, we can assume we have ore plant and the Atlantic Federation's assistance. Oh, so thanks to Yamato. Oh, actually, I yeah, know the Yamato actually did. Yamato's arrival did serve as a turning point for all this. Moving through the dimensional arch is going to take four months. Yeah. I mean, we've lost a lot of time already. Of course, Gardam is trying to stop us. Wait, allies? Oh, yeah, they mentioned that um they were getting some new people. I mean, what other... I'm trying to think of who they could be. Wait. Wait, I know that suit on the left. I I mean, I'm used to being a darker blue, but... That's the Huckbin! The Grungust... This guy's a mecha freak. I like him. 
His name is Velt. Or Velt of Text. Everyone calls him Velt. And he developed the Huckbin? Or at least this version of the Huckbin? In Germany, huh? It still has the black hole engine. Oh, fuck yes, let's go. <laughs> My Huckman can be described as a radical departure from Federation mobile suits. Uh, so, based on what I've seen in SRT that I have those secret scenarios, um, if you have the pre-orders ones, you can just get them super fucking early, like on Mission 3. But I wasn't finished! Yeah, but it's a different situation. So, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get them because I didn't have the early access stuff, but don't fuck it, let's go. <laughs> I'm okay. I kind of figured this is a song we were gonna get because um, they use this song for um, Jess Font if I remember correctly, is its name in SRT. Let's see what it's got. Ooh, I know exactly how to use this machine. Oh, it feels so good to see this thing again. So, the Huckman is kind of an iconic suit for SR. Uh, if you play SR30, this is your custom machine for the, pi the OC pilot. Let's see what the Grungust can do. What the shit? That, that's weird but cool looking. Huh. Ah, let's see. The only thing I'm not sure with the kit is the Rush Saber. Actually, okay, that's just a normal Beam Saber. And now for the main attraction from the Huckbin. The black hole cannon.
Ah, oh, it feels so good to have this machine. Yeah, the Huckman 30 is my most powerful machine in SR30. It does look even more like a Gundam beer. I, well, it was designed by a Gundam designer. So it makes sense. Because the Huckman's designer designed Wing Zero. Well, the entire Wing line, I believe some of the 00 machines... I believe some of the G machines. It long standing Gundam artist or mecha designer. No point in using the black hole cannon for a machine that's already almost dead. I'll be honest, I kind of like this more than this version more than the Huck Finn 30. The things I like about the 30, I just not a fan of 30 th's uh backpack because I, I don't know. I feel it looked better if it didn't have the black hole cannon on its back all the time. A and the going guess is definitely a super robot. You can tell just by that bulk. Okay, so he needs crit for the black hole cannon to get a kill. Is this... Yeah, okay, let's see what her most powerful technique is. I do... I think both of them have their own color schemes. I I kind of like how the 30th has a couple more variations in its colors. That's not just a solid. Where this one feels like it's just... It's a lot of... Of, I, I like the lighter shade as opposed to like the navy. But I kind of wish it. I like the 30 actually having like other colors in there. Wow. Really? I also, uh, I like, uh, how's this? I like the backpack on this Huckbin more, but I like the, I, here's the thing, if I could design my own Huckbin using parts from both of these machines, for both this and the 30, um, Ah, so that's what it is. The 30 emulates that one. If I could choose, though, I would love to have the... Oh, how to say this? I'd like to have the backpack of this... Like, the backpack of the head and body of this one, but, like, the shoulders and arms of the 30. I can't really say anything about the legs because they're pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I, I do like the 30s shoulders a little bit more. The head, the head is just blatantly Gundam. Are you sent it? Uh. Okay, I can see it. Then 
Like, I, I definitely see it. Which makes sense, but with, um... SR30 being an anniversary game. The thing that's throwing me off is like... I already knew how to use a Huckfin because I've been running one so long in 30. I don't know how to use her machine. I do like that Beam Saber animation more than the one in 30. No, they are they are a very good tactical combination because you don't want machines. So the Huckman also has the maneuver built the mobility to be a frontline fighter. It's an evasion tank. Oh, he's self-aware, unlike uh, the mech nut we get in thirty. She's teasing him. The Velt and Lottie. Okay, enough. Get on the flying space battleship. Can we just acknowledge that we've pretty much hijacked Yamato's um, air team and have replaced it entirely with mechs? We've got plenty of non-military people here. Okay, the 100 meters tall, I can guess... That could be either Mazinger or Getter. Oh yeah, it's already all over again. One comprising a composite of other robots. That one could either be... Gain or Getter. But based on the fact it says an independent AI, I'm assuming he's talking about the um, Brave Express. 
The all-purpose humanoid decisive battle weapon Evangelions, Geta Robos from the Lunar Conflict, and Mazingers. Let's take a look. Get both of them their custom bonus. Okay, mobility. I can't afford yours right now. But let's see what I can do with... Yeah, I won't be able to get her custom bonus yet. Oh wow, they can actually swap backs! Ah, so they're pairing them with the Vangnax. That makes sense. 